In this video, we'll write the equation for AGI plus H2O. This is silver iodide plus water. So we're going to take solid silver iodide and we're going to put that in liquid water. And we want to know what the equation will be. So we need to figure out if this AGI is soluble in water, if it'll actually dissolve in water. The solubility rules, that'll help us figure that out. So we go down and here's iodide ion. So in general, compounds are soluble if we have the iodide ion, except a few of them, and silver, that's one of the exceptions. So this is going to be insoluble in water. You put silver iodide in water, and nothing happens. It remains a solid. It just falls to the bottom of the beaker or the test tube. We should say that when we have an insoluble compound, a very small amount of it dissolves. So even though there's really not much of an equation to write here, we could write the equation for the very small amount of this AGI that dissolves in water. Silver, that's 1 plus, and the iodide ion, 1 minus. So we could write Ag plus, that's the silver ion, plus we have that iodide ion, I minus. And let's put aqueous after these, since they're dissolved in water. Aqueous means dissolved in water. So this would be the equation for the very small amount of AGI that would dissolve when we put it in water. Most of it would stay a solid, since AGI is insoluble. Sometimes you'll see the water put on top of the arrow. So that's another way you can write this equation. And sometimes you'll even see water in the products. But since we wrote aqueous, we're already saying that these are dissolved in water. So this is Dr. B with the equation for AGI plus H2O, silver iodide plus water. Thanks for watching.